now to the diplomatic standoff between India and Italy, which continues over the return of the Marines charged with the murder of two Indian fishermen. The Supreme Court today pulled up the Italian ambassador, Daniel Mancini, again restraining him from leaving India until further orders. The court said a person who gives an undertaking in a legal matter enjoys no diplomatic immunity and that the court has lost all trust in the Italian ambassador because he had given that personal undertaking that the Marines will be returning home after casting their votes in the Italian elections. The matter has now been adjourned until the 2nd of April. No further affidavits will be accepted from the Italian ambassador uh, on whether he wants to leave the country. There is underway a study of the entire expanse of our relationship with Italy. When it co is completed, will provide us a variety of uh, suggestions and it's only then we will consider various matters. The Supreme Court is obviously moving very cautiously in this matter. While determining that the ambassador did not enjoy immunity, the Supreme Court also said that it would examine the question of immunity more closely on 2nd April. And while pulling up the ambassador saying the court could no longer trust him, the Supreme Court did not haul up the ambassador for contempt of court. So obviously, perhaps there's an attempt here by the Supreme Court not to precipitate matters. Effectively, the court seems to have given more time to both India and Italy. Italy has got more time now till 2nd April to reconsider whether the Marines can be returned to this country. And India now has time to think through its next course of uh, action. Um, at the same time, government sources are now conceding that the ambassador's continuance in this country is untenable, with the Supreme Court coming down so strongly on him, saying that uh, it can't uh, trust the ambassador anymore. Uh, perhaps it's just a matter of time before the ambassador will have to be asked to leave. However, the Indian government is unlikely to take any sort of action against the ambassador till 2nd of April, because this matter is now in court, and the Supreme Court has said it wants to take this forward on 2nd April. So effectively, the court also today giving the Indian government more time in terms of acting against the ambassador.